Welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit. One drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday live. Oh, I'm so happy that you are here and thanks for hanging out with me today, just for a little while. Um, another Draw Tip Tuesday live, which is um, quite exciting. This is the second time I'm doing this and I don't really have any, you know, I'm not really... I don't have my processes in place yet, so it's a little bit exciting. It's fun. I also see that my hair looks dorky, which is also fine. <laughs> so, welcome everyone. Um, I find this quite exciting and also really fun, and I'm glad to see that you're all here from everywhere around the world. So, thanks for being here. So much fun. Um, so, Let's dive right in because I always want to keep my Draw Tip Tuesday videos kind of short. So um, I'm just going to dive right in while you are all saying hi in the comments. And I'm keeping an eye on that. So uh, don't worry, I, I'm not missing that. I see all the waves and all the hellos. And thank you, Karen, for telling me that I look great, even with dorky hair. Good. So um, today I am. I want to address something uh, because I got some questions about it. If you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you might have noticed that sometimes I post drawings that I call a sketch meditation or a drawing meditation or morning meditation. Sometimes I always. I don't really have a name for it, but that's what I actually add in the comment then. And. Maybe you are wondering, what is that? And can I do it too? Well, yes, you can. <laughs> First of all, you need to know something about me and maybe it's completely obvious as a fact, but here it is. Drawing keeps me sane. And by that, I mean um, drawing in my sketchbook, and it really doesn't matter what I draw or what the subject is. It just really calms my mind and it relaxes me. Plus, it gives me a great excuse to spy on people when I'm outside drawing or to study shapes, colors, patterns, and discover all kinds of things around me. So... Anytime I pick up my sketchbook and my pen and I start drawing, I feel that there is some form of meditation involved. Often it just kind of happens because I get caught up in the lines and the shapes and the patterns and the colors that I notice. And I think you can say in short that I get into that feeling of flow. You know what I mean? It's a certain meditative state of mind, that flow, which is awesome if that happens. And don't get me wrong, because I don't always feel that flow, especially when I feel distracted or hurried or maybe a little bit stressed. It's just not happening. But even then, I do really enjoy the process of drawing. And sometimes I even like the drawing that I end up with too. So that's a bonus. And... Uh, drawing is really a form of mindfulness. When you draw from observation, you need to take time to really look at your subject. And once you start looking, you really see. And to do so, you need to slow down. Nothing else in the world matters for that moment except your drawing. Or except that you are drawing. And... It's a little bit like focusing on your breathing in meditation practice. You are focusing on your line, on color, on shapes, on marks. It can be a form of meditation. So that meditative state of mind, uh, sometimes you feel it while you are concentrating on a drawing. It's, it's really a bit of a bonus uh, to the act of drawing. But you can also deliberately use drawing as a meditation. For me, especially in the morning, it is a great way to set the tone for the day. 
I grab my coffee and maybe I have breakfast or maybe I have it later or maybe I first draw my breakfast actually as a meditation before I eat it. Anyway, I just sit down, I open my sketchbook and I start drawing before I do anything else. And I think that is the basic rule or the basic way to do it. Sit down, focus. Just do that drawing. There's nothing else that is more important for that one moment, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour or an hour, depending on how much time you have. Just have that moment before you do anything else. Or sometimes I am in a hurry in the morning and I don't get to do breakfast or, well, I actually always do breakfast, but I don't get to do my breakfast drawing because I don't know, I had my morning run and I'm already, you know, I want to uh, start working. That's fine too. Sometimes I just do it by way of taking a break in the middle of the day or in the afternoon. I just stop everything I do. I sit down to do a small or a large or a, any kind of sketch. Sometimes it's just, you know, I sit down uh, in a chair and I draw my feet. And that's that's the meditation. It's just following the lines that I see and following the shape and drawing that. And it just really pulls me out of the, the sort of cadence that I've been having all day. So it's a great way to have just a, a sort of active meditation in the middle of your day. And sometimes the evening is really great too. It's a great way to really wind down, calm your mind. And if I do that, then I go to bed without too many thoughts on my mind, uh, to-dos that are still ocu ocu occupying my brain. I, I just sort of pulled that all out because I had been focusing on, um, on the shapes, on the drawing. And often... Uh, I like the drawing too because it is so relaxing. I can show you a few um, uh, just sort of random examples here. Um, let's see where to start here. I'll have to do this, I think. See, the hair is dorky today. I don't know what's happening. Anyways, it's not about my hair. So this drawing, for example, this is a great example of an evening sketch. I was sitting on the couch, just relaxing. It was the end of the day. I was kind of feeling kind of tired, but often once I move over to the couch after dinner or something, I just bring a whole pile of things. And often it's like my iPad and my sketchbook and all kinds of drawing tools just in case, you know, and just having those nearby actually um, reminds me that it's something that I really like doing because sometimes you forget. And um, so instead of grabbing the remote control to binge watch something on Netflix, I will just draw instead. So here uh, my husband was sitting right in front of me and he is often my victim because... Well, he's there, and uh, I really like drawing people. And he was actually sitting quite still. And while he was checking his iPod battery health and working all kinds of kinds of technical things out, I was drawing him, and I realized he's checking his battery health. I'm actually checking my mental health by doing this. That's what I mean. You know, it keeps me sane. It calms my mind down and just drawing in that brown ink and adding some brown watercolor that was just the best thing to do that evening okay here's another one um, this is one that actually I um, went out for a coffee sometimes I do that in the morning I uh, I really like making coffee myself at home but sometimes it's just really great to be somewhere where the barista makes coffee for you and um, uh, in the meantime you draw so I sat down I think it was just like 20 minutes maybe or half an hour I sat down and while sipping my coffee I was just drawing the barista, drawing the people who came in um, and were in a hurry, you know, waiting for their takeaway coffees. 
it was it, it's just really I really like that vibe in the morning especially when when the day is starting and people are starting up and I tried to capture that while I was actually testing my new equal line markers here so that was an extra bonus and uh, the drawing lasted as long as my coffee lasted or maybe it was the way the other way around my coffee must, may have lasted as long as my a drawing has lasted um, it might have been cold by the time I was done drawing but that's okay I don't mind here's another one great one this is drawing the view from uh, um, uh, our apartment in Rotterdam actually which is on the 10th floor so you look down and this was really early in the morning so what I really like about that is that I could actually see the neighborhood wake up so while I was working my way through all the shapes and all the things that I was seeing I could also hear through the open window people whistling to their dogs while they were walking their dogs the clinking sound of the bicycle locks being unlocked for for those people who were leaving on their bicycles to go to their work all that I can just hear that again when I look at this drawing so that way that's that's what I really mean by that meditative um, way of being you just you just soak up everything so much more just because you are concentrating on that one moment that one thing that you are drawing so this is a true true sketch morning meditation definitely and I love the result too this was done with a brush pen so I couldn't get too much into detail because that's with a uh, you know a wide view it's really hard to not get into detail and then you end up drawing for hours here's another one just an evening sketch um, not really ready for bed yet not really ready to do any you know watch a, a show or a, or a, or a, anything like that or read a book I just wanted to sit down and draw and do a little bit of um, hatching and a little bit of color and after that just so relaxed and during the drawing I'm super relaxed too. Drawing feet is a fantastic way for to uh, do a drawing meditation. Here's another one, uh, one that um, yeah, this, the Sunday bliss I call it. Um, this felt really meditative, it felt like this moment could last forever and um, well it's a really good um, example as well this is a great example I this was an afternoon at the end of the day I was super tired I had a bit of a headache I had so many thoughts and I didn't even know where to put them <laughs> so instead of trying to make sense of all the things that I needed to prioritize I just started drawing and I started drawing that black bicycle in the foreground and because bicycles are kind of a difficult shape or a complicated shape to draw that completely distracted me from the entangled thoughts in my head and I was just really drawing the tangle of bicycles instead and um, after that I felt so much better I felt like I sort of um, solved the puzzle you know just because I made it work the 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 drawing I made made the shapes work and I was like okay so this is good this was really great and I was really distracted from the from the all the thoughts and I could organize my priorities after that again I felt so much better it just really calmed my mind and here's the last one uh, that I want to show you I did this one in the morning um, before and after breakfast so before breakfast I uh, put down uh, watercolors and while that uh, dried I made coffee I had some yogurt and some fruit and um, when I was done with that the watercolor had dried and I could add line with colored pencils so uh, and then after that I just put these shoes on and went outside and went to the studio to go to work so that's what I mean by setting the tone for the day 
um, by just making a drawing, <clears throat> you, uh, I, I feel like I have accomplished something. Whether the drawing is fine or not, it doesn't matter what the result is. It's just the act of drawing that makes my mind calm and that makes me feel like I have done something really great for myself. And, um, and then I can just go on with my day and uh, start my to-do list full of energy. So those are some of the um, examples that I wanted to show you. And um, thank you for all the comments in the meantime. It's hard to keep up with uh, both, uh, but uh, we're here not just uh, for the comments. Um, it is Draw Tape Tuesday, so I think I should make a drawing. Um, and what I am actually, uh, uh, want to, what I want to draw is here, I took a picture of it, I have it right in front of me, but I took a picture of it so you can actually see it too. This here is uh, a snack that I bought uh, just a couple of hours ago and I didn't eat it because I actually really wanted it, but then I thought, oh, this is actually really great for Draw Tip Tuesday today. So um, just for you, I did not eat that peach. Uh, I did eat some nuts though, so I wouldn't fall down. Um, and um, I thought that peach is really great to draw. It's a nice, nice shape and colors. And um, so that's actually what I'm going to draw. I won't talk a lot longer because um, let's just draw. Okay. Let's see if I can make this work. Hang on. Whoops. Fiddling around. No, that's not what I meant. That's what I meant. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and of course, I am uh, using colored pencils uh, because we are still in the middle of the colored pencil course at Sketchbook School. So uh, make sure that if you haven't signed up, those colored pencils are... Um, the, the colored pencil course is really, really great. It's so much fun. Uh, it's super colorful and uh, I am learning a ton of things. So if you haven't signed up, signed up yet, um, please do. It's not too late to start. Go to sketchbookschool.com. That was my a little plug for our awesome course, Colored Pencils at Sketchbook School. Let's start drawing. Let's draw something. So I'm just looking at the peach that's right in front of me and you can see um, the photo of it just uh, above so you can see what I'm actually doing and it's kind of accurate uh, of what my view of it is. So what I would do for my drawing meditation, I would not be talking, <laughs> so this is not really a drawing meditation, but I can just um, tell you um, how it would go. So. What I really like for drawing meditations is um, a continuous line drawing. And that is because it makes me um, really focus on the shape and find my way uh, on the paper. And I need to really look at my subject and then back again on my on my pad again, or on my sketchbook again, and look at the subject. So it's really, focusing on the subject rather than anything else. Sometimes I also listen to the radio or to a podcast while doing this. Sometimes I listen to my own thoughts, um, depending on what my, my mood and my, uh, how my mindset is. So let's just see what this funny shape is just a little bit of that here and I'm just going to color a little bit of it and this is just a few minute meditation of course you can take as long as you like like with any meditation you know if you do a breathing meditation it can, can be something that you do in just a few seconds or it can be something that you do in 20 minutes or even an hour or longer so it really depends on what you need and um, how you feel. And I'm just really trying to focus on color because I really like this color. And 
also I like playing with my tools and this uh, woody pencil is really great because it's kind of like a crayon it's really sort of buttery so I'm adding that to my colors here and the feeling of that um, pencil on paper the flow of you know it already says it it's a flow the flow of the um, of the waxy layer on the paper that is just such a great feeling and that is part of the meditation too it's not just focusing on colors and shape it's also really focusing on the the act of drawing the drawing process it's not about the result at all it's really just enjoying what you are doing enjoying the um the process yeah the act of drawing i think that's really it and of course i can i can go um, and and add a lot of details but i i'm actually fine with this right now i might actually do a little bit more of this so it blends a bit more but i also want to include some of those um almonds 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 i never know whatever does it matter nuts okay so again i am actually going to do um a continuous line drawing where i am not focusing on the nuts but i'm focusing on the shape that they form together and that makes it a lot easier to feel um, that shape and to draw them in the right uh, angle and in the right proportion and as you can hear I'm starting to talk less I'm really getting into that flow right now just concentrating on the shapes and I see a lot of fantastic um, marks here that I can make. And I can make as many or as little as I want to. I could have also just left this like a one big blank space. But now that I've already filled the shapes in, I also want to fill some of that um, texture. Okay, now I think that needs, that's just all floating on the page right now. So this needs definitely some shading. Just adding a little bit of gray, brownish gray. Just doing that quickly. And again, because I'm using my colored pencil this way, I'm creating a different texture on the paper. And that's something else that I really enjoy. Just seeing that texture um, happening, it's just joyful. That's just one of those meditation moments as well. Like, oh, see what's happening? I didn't even do a lot of, you know, it wasn't even a lot of trouble to do that. And then you see your drawing grow. And I actually also see like this this peach kind of looks like a rising sun. Isn't that awesome? So that would be perfect for the morning. Maybe now it's the setting sun for the end of the day. Although it's not really the end of the day just yet. But this would be great for the rising sun in the morning if you do this as a breakfast meditation. But I'm actually not having breakfast actually right after this I will have dinner with my in-laws so you can you can add as much as you like and you can do as much detail as you like I could also draw the paper around this you know just add a little bit of an edge to it maybe that frames the thing it's kind of cool. I like that. 
Um, maybe just some, I don't know, this needs perhaps just a little bit of color, just some light touches. And and that's it, you know. Um, that's, that's what drawing is and that's what makes drawing such a uh, meditative act. You are in the moment and you are just focusing on um, the shapes and the shades and deciding on whether to add something or not. And that is the only thing that is important at that moment. Not the to-do lists, not the groceries, not the kids that need to go to school or anything that could worry your mind or whatever. It's just all filtered out because this is the only thing that is important at this very moment. And, you know, it could also, sometimes I, I write things as well, um, just to uh, work through the thoughts that I may have had during the drawing. Um, so, for example, I could write here, this, is it a wild beach or is it a flat beach? I don't even know. I think it's called a wild beach here in the Netherlands, but it's also called a flat beach. Oh well. I can include all that because it's my meditation, it's my thoughts. Um, here, it looks like the sun rising. I really like the addition of, um, you know, of the, of the writing. It is just an extra bit of the memory that I have of this, uh, of this drawing and um, I think I can call this done. So uh, let me just get back to the screen again. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this is this is really uh, the uh, I just did this drawing. It's, oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, messing up here. There. There. <laughs> Okay, so I did this drawing as a meditation. Um, I really hope that it makes sense to you, you know, sketch meditation. Um, oh, a donut peach, Polly. That's a good one. Okay, there you go. Donut peach. Thank you, Polly, for that addition. Um, a donut beach, that's how it's called in New York. Um, Polly also just bought a bag of them. I just bought one, and I'm going to eat it after this. So, so I, I hope that you um, recognize that idea of flow and how um, you can distract your mind that is just filling up with thoughts and filling up with worries, perhaps, to-do lists. Well, the things that, that happen when you have a busy life. And you can distract your mind um, with um, by drawing. So that's how you do a sketch meditation. You can do it any time of the day. I would say do it in the morning because if you do it first thing in the morning, it's really setting the tone for your day and it's really, you know, then you have done that. You have accomplished that and maybe you can do a drawing later again instead of just, you know, going about all the things that you do and then at the end of the day you're like, oh, I didn't do a drawing and now I feel a little bit grumpy. Well, if you, if you do your drawing at the beginning of the day, then um, you prevent grumpiness. You've, you will feel much better, um, uh, you know, uh, going into your day. And um, yeah, I can see that uh, in the comments, I can see that people are really enjoying uh, watching this drawing. I'm glad because I feel like this is half an hour draw tip Tuesday. It might be a little bit too long. That's why I am going to end 
this live um, session because I really want you to start drawing and um, have some fun in your sketchbook. Let me know if you do a sketch meditation today. You can uh, share what you make on uh, social media. Share it um, uh, on social media using... Oh, this is something else. Actually, use the hashtag uh, DTT in action so that I can see what you made and let me know how you felt during your drawing meditation. And um, that link that I shared just now, uh, where did it go? I just actually deleted it. Anyways, you can sign up for um, for uh, the uh, Draw Tip Tuesday um, newsletter so that you will get your Draw Tip Tuesday videos uh, in your inbox every week and you don't miss out. Thanks everyone for um, hanging out with me, uh, being here for half an hour of meditating and uh, now Go do a sketch meditation yourself. Have fun. I'll see you next week. Bye.